What's up guys, UC Vibes here. Now a new video just dropped on the Begode ET Max, brought to you by HKEMD. These guys don't speak any English, so I thought I'd hop on here, do a reaction, translate video, and you know, bring it to your attention if you haven't seen this yet, so let's check it out together. Begode ET Max, this wheel's sick. All right, we got some actual riding footage going on right here. Oh, we're catching a vibe, all right. <laughs> about to get in the stats in a second but you know gotta have that rider footage Oof. hello welcome to hk emd's channel i'm the host of the show chris today i will introduce the go's newest electric unicycle the big go dt max you didn't know i knew other languages come on man i'm vibes that's what i do damn that wheel's looking nice linkage color will be different they say before we start, special introduction to HKEMD. It is a channel that shares information about electric mobility devices. If you don't want to miss out on the latest news, remember to subscribe and share our video. And subscribe to UC Vibes too. As this year's first flagship electric unicycle product of 2024, the ET Max has a very luxurious specifications. It uses voltages up to 168 volts. High voltage means safer. Compared with previous generation 134 voltage EUC, energy conversion at the same speed has higher efficiency. Reduce working temperature and reduce the risk of cutout due to overload. Built in eight parallel 48 MOSFETs. Make current pass more efficiently. It can go up to 1200 amps. Increase the maximum torque. Mm, 1200 amps. The motor is equipped with 40 500 watt tile magnet motor compared with the ordinary motor. So compare that to ordinary motor, the rim color will be different, it runs faster. Non-loading speed is 180 kilometers per hour, which makes more efficient use of the high voltage 168 volts. The size of the motor is a 14 inch rim. Standard street tire 90-90-14. Comes with a 3000 watt hour battery pack, which supports 20 amp fast charging, sufficient for daily commuting and long distance journeys. Things to note is that the ET Max battery packs has two versions, Samsung 50G and the 50S. And high-end version is the Samsung 50S with the high discharge batteries. Now on the market, most electric unicycles have suspension. Users are more comfortable while riding. The ET Max is equipped with a self-development, bi-directional dampening spring shock, compression and rebound dampening, and can stepless adjustable and suspension closable have an advantage when racing. Suspension travels 130 millimeters, which means more cushioning when pressing down. As always, Begode products, the ET Max configuration, Velcro pads, display screen, kickstand, mud guard, headlights and taillights, brake light for night environment. The trolley handle is on the roof, integrated, thin and light. There are two LED embellishments on the front of the car body in a cyberpunk style. The height adjustable pedals, different from previous models, the pedal height is fixed. You could change it. No need to purchase third party pedal hangers to adjust pedal height. It is worth mentioning that the ET Max adopts CNC aluminum alloy, enhancing the body strength. In software, ET Max has two major functions smart BMS system, real-time observation of battery packs, status, and mobile phone app. Motor power is adjustable. Adjust power to save power. Man, this wheel is looking sick, guys. I knew the pedal was adjustable like that, but I didn't know it had that many adjustable heights. Like, whew. And the pads are fully adjustable, too. Looks like my boy got on some grizzlies right now. I love Grizzly. Those pads are great. 
So he's doing the right thing. That's probably what I'm going to do. If I get the Bugotti T-Max, I'll slap some Grizzler pads right on that bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, that integrated brake taillight is sick. He could grab that front handle when he's sitting down. He's definitely vibing out. And I love the Tron lights. Oof. So fire. Right on the front. Kind of reminds me of the Bugot RS lights. Remember that? They were kind of tron right? They're kind of tron -y. A little bit. I am a Bagode EX30 user. When cornering, I think the ET Max compares to the EX30. The feeling of pedals falling is reduced. Turning requires less effort. It takes time to practice. It is easier for users with longer legs to ride. Needless to say about acceleration, 168 volts, 4,500 watt motor. This thing's powerful. Whether riding in a standing position or sitting down, it can be retracted freely. Like we mentioned earlier, the body height is higher than previous models, so it will be more comfortable when riding in a seated position. Battery life performance measured using darkness spot for a 70 kilogram rider, average speed of 41 kilometers per hour, had 22% battery remaining. We tested in urban areas. I found that the biggest advantage of this wheel is 20 amp fast charging charge when out of power. If traveling point A to point B, 200 kilometers until now, no electric unicycle can cover a distance of 200 kilometers in one trip, unless you can ride super slow like a turtle. 20 amp fast charging takes less than an hour to fully charge. More efficient on long rides. One hour of riding and one hour charging. Calculate that scenario with an average speed of 50 kilometers per hour, you can run 300 kilometers 12 hours. It's a very exaggerated riding distance. During racing, multiple events, you may need to be held in one day. 20 amp fast charging can fully charge the battery in the shortest time. No need to worry about not fully charging before the next event. Keep your battery in full charge. EMD fast charger is specifically designed for EUC players. Small size, 2000 watt hour. Oh, did this just turn into a damn battery ad? I'm skipping this. Well, you trying to play me right now? <laughs> you know, we got the Roger charger here in America. You know what I'm saying? A Roger charger. No, we're not buying your charger, but thank you for this video. Don't copyright strike me. Hope you don't know what I'm saying. Nobody tell him what I just said. Okay, this rider footage, though, that's what's really good. Look at that. Look at that lean, man. Got that lean. I got to learn how to lean like that when I race. The trolley handle design makes solid work, but the appearance is ordinary and is difficult. I'd rather just push the roof of the wheel. Although sitting ride feels good, the roof is too slippery and hard. It is recommended to attach friction pads to make riding safer. The wheel design tends to be rectangular, resulting in limited space for placing legs. What I feel is I like to wear knee pads. The position of the front pad and the back pad are limited and it cannot be placed further. If you encounter the above problems, you could, did this just turn into another commercial? All right, the headlight. The headlight can barely cope with the night. While riding at high speed, it is recommended to carry a flashlight. Damn. We measure the weight of the wheel to be 48 kilograms. Although it has an impact on battery life, I believe that the 20 amp fast charger can result are they just trying to sell me this 20 amp fast charger, man? We get the Roger charger, like I said. Man. Don't listen to these guys. Come on, man. Finally, what kind of EUC is the ET Max? There is no doubt that the Bagoda is very aggressive. 168 volts, 4,500 watt motor, 20 amp fast charging, the ultimate performance unicycle. If you ask me which type of car does the ET Max look like, I would think of the Skyline, Godzilla. It's heavy, but it's fast. Super high horsepower, conquer the road with brute force. What are the characteristics of this wheel? Adjustable, it's up to you. Paddle height can be adjusted. Motor power can be adjusted. Linkage color, shock absorbers can also be adjusted. Also, I really appreciate the use of the rear shock absorbers compared to the mount shock absorbers. The rear shock absorbers will not have the problem. It's more smooth and stable when turning. After talking for so long, how fast was it? We measured two data for reference. A 70 kilogram rider had the power alarm when the battery was at 40% and the speed. Why were you riding with the battery at 40%? We don't give a damn about how fast it was at 40%. That's like cutoff zone, man. So 82 kilometers, or 80%. No beeps, 75 kilometers. What's 75 kilometers per hour in miles per hour? 75 kilometers per hour is about 46.6 miles per hour. Okay, 46.6 miles per hour with 80% battery and a 90. Alexa, what's 90 kilograms in pounds? 90 kilograms is about 198 pounds. All right, so a 200-pound rider went that fast at 80% battery. Not bad. 
I mean, you could do that on other wheels too, though. This is supposed to be the fastest wheel. I expect you guys to go faster. You know what I'm saying? Go faster. Got to go faster. Did you think the ET Max is worth buying? Welcome to leave a comment under the video. Hold on. Did he explain why he didn't go faster? The opportunity, the opportunity to test higher speeds is left to you. Oh, ho, ho, he put it on me. He put it on vibes. He knew I was going to say something. That's a good move. That's a good move. I got to start doing that in my videos. Just go whatever speed I want to go. Don't go that fast. And then just be like, the opportunity to test higher speeds, that's left to you. That's a good one. I like that one. I'm going to have to steal that. Do you think the ET Max is worth buying? Welcome to leave a comment under the video. You could comment under this video too. And I'll put the original video in the description, you know, because that's the right thing to do. And uh, we got some more footage. Pretty tall, almost 30 inches tall. Getting all the measurements, screenshot all these measurements, guys. You know we need these measurements. So guys, if you're in the Hong Kong area, definitely hit up these guys. They made a great video that I stole. So the least we could do is find one guy to buy a wheel from them, you know? I'm sure I got one viewer in Hong Kong, you know? One of you guys. So born to race, racing wheels, built for the race. Finished. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. That was a great video. So that's it, guys. That was a great video. Um, I'm glad that they showed us this wheel. We got an early first look at this wheel. You know, they didn't go super high speed, but they left that up to us. And we got to see a lot of up close images of this wheel that we didn't get to see before, so that's good. I just want to know what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comments down below. Is it all stacked up to be? Is it going to be a Lynx killer? I don't know. I don't know. No one knows. We need this wheel over here. Over here, like right over here. Someone send it over here, and then we'll know. And speaking of over here, you could click this video or you could click this video. They're both kind of dope. Um, I recommend this one first. And make sure you subscribe to the channel EC Vibes. I'm bringing you all the info as soon as I see it. I don't waste no time. I wake up in the middle of the night. Something going on in the EC world? Your boy's on it. All right? We out here.